Blondale happening in the 1200 Blondale happening in the 1200 block of South Pulaski. 15 people taken to the hospital. Watch the day two's Nate Rogers is on the west side tonight with more details. Nate. This is the second mass shooting in Londale in just three months. Mayor Brandon Johnson calling this latest incident an alleged act of retaliation authorities a and the community through this time. We can hold people accountable, but we have to heal as a community if we're going to stop this cycle. We wasn't in the party. Now, at last check, all of the So the party wasn't, we we're going to take it all the way back. So first of all, I want to say prayers to any, uh, anybody that got hit, everybody, family member. Y'all running here. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Two seconds later, bullet fly past my face. Glass fly past my face. Almost died. I literally saw the bullet fly past my face. Goofy. Like, why are you recording all these people? You literally just almost died. And the first thing you do is wake up and get on live, bro. These people don't want to see this video of their cousins and stuff on the floor. Like, you recorded 33 minutes of people. So, we got a situation where Skinbone responds to the situation at the mass shooting at his party. And he's calling out a lot of people who are glorizing this and people coming with fabrication stories and all that. We got news clipping and stories and everything to help make sense. And it's also mm. helping out the comedian. This is a great comedian from Chicago. He does his thing. Wouldn't wish nothing nothing bad like that on nobody especially not skin bone he got great content y'all go subscribe to his channel you could tell it was a serious situation he just been through so our hearts out with him and the families of the people who got hurt and died prayers and hopes for everybody man make sure you guys do one thing for me though smash that like button hit the notification bell and thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip hop live movement without further ado before we get the skin bone let's listen to the news coverage of of what happened that night heal as a community and the community through this time we can hold people accountable but we have to heal as a community if we're going to stop this cycle of violence now at last check all of the victims were listed in good condition except for a 26 year old and a 48 year old who are both listed in critical condition that emergency assistance shelter will be set up this coming tuesday from 12 to 7 p.m at Blondale, 13th happening in the 1200 block Blondale, happening in the 1200 Blondale, happening in the 1200 block of south pulaski 15 people taken to the hospital watch the day two's nate rogers is on the west side tonight with more details this is the second mass shooting in Londale in just three months. Mayor Brandon Johnson calling this latest incident an alleged act of retaliation. Authorities are now working to shut down the establishment where the violence erupted. I don't know whether to scream or to cry. A crime scene filled with multiple ambulances and a large crowd. Police say the chaos began after a man who was asked to leave a Halloween party returned and began shooting. About 100 people were in attendance. Responding officers observed the offender on the 4,000 block of 14th Street. They placed him in the custody immediately. A protective pat-down resulted in the recovery of a firearm. 15 people were shot, including six women and nine men. The victims' ages range from 26 to 53. There's trauma behind all of this, and that's something that we shouldn't normalize. And this is becoming normal in our community. 10 1 13th at Pulaski. We got at least 10 people down. 13th. It happened here outside Studio 1258, 13th and Pulaski, around 1 a.m. Authorities say the establishment has a history for throwing unlicensed events. They're currently licensed as an art gallery. We've had an incident back May 6th where we had to shut them down for an event. And this is another event that resulted in this tragedy. Community leaders, including multiple city council members, joined police at the scene. Also in Lawndale, back in July, nine people were shot, eight of them women. 21-year-old Kanisha Gaines, a mother of two, was killed. In a statement, Mayor Brandon Johnson saying, quote, Sadly, mass casualty events are not exclusive to Chicago. This Halloween weekend alone, 11 people were killed in 12 mass shootings across the country. The city is now opening an emergency assistance center to support victims, their families, and the community through this time lawndale so skin bone gives his response and he talks about all the alleged things that happened that day without further ado let's listen to skin bones response to it 
get on it. Why y'all talking about it? Y'all wasn't there. Y'all don't know what happened in the party if you wasn't in the party. So the party wasn't, we we're going to take it all the way back. So first of all, I want to say prayers to uh, anybody that got hit, everybody, family member, you know, um, people I knew I reached out to personally. So, um, yeah, so we, so we had the party at a whole nother location. We had a party. You know, everybody had a Halloween party yesterday. Everybody had a Halloween party on Saturday. So what, what, what y'all need to understand is promoters start hating. So when we had our Halloween party planned for a whole nother location, other niggas at clubs start calling about our place. And if it's a goofy in the facility, it don't matter where you at. So I wish y'all stopped saying, like, oh, you was on 13th Pulaski. That's what you thought would have happened. Okay. The party was good. We was in the party about 8 o'clock all the way to 1 in the morning. 1 in the morning came. Niggas got mad. Security put the nigga out. Okay. And he drunk. Niggas drunk. I don't like drunk people. I, I, don't, I do not like drunk people. I dislike drunk people with a passion. And this is why I don't come out. And on my last live, that's what I said. Y'all have to respect my prices because... When I come out, this is the BS that happens. So if I'm telling you that I need this amount of money to come out, that's what I mean. I'm like, I'm by the front door. So I'm sitting down like this. This is literally the glass that you see through the front door. So that nigga opened that door and aimed at me. He shot this way. We get on the flow. He come in through the door. He's shooting people that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This is a nigga from Champaign. There's not no nigga from 13th and Pulaski. There's not no ops that's just around because people like, oh, yeah, you was on 13th and Pulaski. This nigga not from here that came and did that. You have to realize the type of the type of power that we have to, to people that want to see us and come from any other city, come from any states, because there was niggas in there from Oklahoma. It was people coming up to me and telling me, that, oh, yeah, like, you gray hell. Like, come on, you, you old. and said, what you doing, bro? I'm just saying, bro, that, that is just crazy. Like, you know, seeing people you love get hurt. Like, when I got up and deep brown, like, man, bro, I'm hit. I'm looking at his arm bleeding. And see, he, I'm, I'm trying to make sure everybody cool. You know, everybody up and got the, it had nothing to do with that. It was just a goofy that got drunk and got mad that he got put out because he was doing too much and wanted to come back and make a, a point or whatever. But the nigga in jail, you didn't go nowhere. Who is, go get on the, on the news. Like, come on, bro. Nobody want to see, no, bro, nobody want to see that. Nobody want to see that. Them is grown men, grown women. I have no control over how they react. I have no control over what they do. They don't have nothing to do with me. All I do is I be skimbo, I be myself. I'm just, I made sure people was good. I didn't want to just leave and just get up and leave. Like, you know, uh, D. Brown, Uncle Hank, he most definitely, his people most definitely rushed him to the hospital. But all, you know, everybody else that, you know, they came to hell. But it's just like the whole Chicago went up yesterday. I'm watching people fight every day. Like, you know, I, I want y'all to know how dumb y'all look fighting in these costumes. Like, I had no mask on. Niggas, it's clear as day. Motherfucker saw it. Police saw who he was. There ain't no need no motherfucker. Like, oh, yeah, you told. You told. You can't snitch on the motherfucker that the police saw. Nigga, the police caught that nigga. It was over with. It was just like, damn. So there we have it. Skinbone explains the situation. If you want to watch the full, it's really a 16 minute video he did. I kind of summarize it for fair use and for you guys to go subscribe to his channel and go listen to his full, you know, breakdown of the situation in Chicago. You know what I mean? It's unfortunate, man. D Brown, I do know him. That's the basketball player. I had one conversation with him many years ago. I know he played for Illinois University. He went to the NBA for a little bit. You feel me? Shout out to D Brown. Hope he gets better and he gets right. Thank you to Skinbone for breaking that down. Um, thoughts and prayers for everybody involved. What you guys could do for me is smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and come rock with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, the best one. Salute. Nah, I smoke G Mike with the magic. He my dog. He died in traffic with that brand new Glock 380. Went to see the lady. I'm on high shit right now. That we
you done turn me crazy Wear the brand new black Mercedes It's a stay la be my baby I see so many Z's It look like double Z's OMG, red and blue flag Hanging on my back that Extra swag, swag. 90210, you know I'm from the roads Rock and roll, I'm no motherfucking out of there three With the sack, three for sale Yeah, I'm on that Adderall, Adderall. can't you tell Yeah, I might be on that perk Set on feelings on my shirt Set on feelings on my shirt I smoke G